I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction because every decision that is made during the Charleston can impact the next. When you get your dealt tiles, you can look for the strength of the hand and pick a category to play, but there may be other opportunities. So for this exercise, we're going to do two iterations using the same tiles and then we're going to compare results. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's roll these dice to determine which player we are. I rolled an eight, so we're going to be player four. I will get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a joker, pair of flowers, one dot, three, four, five, seven, eight, pair of fours with bams, three, eight, nine, single cracks. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? While you decide, I'm going to take a photo. If this were my hand, I would focus on probably consecutive run building around the fours. There is a slight potential for evens, two, four, six, eight, but I think consecutive run is much stronger. So I would hold all consecutive run tiles. Let's do consecutive run first, and in the next iteration, we'll focus on evens. The reason I don't think evens are is as strong as consecutive run is because we have no twos and no sixes. So let's pass those three and see if we can have a good result with consecutive run. My goal is four discards or less at the end of the Charleston. I'll take a photo there. We've got fives, which is consecutive, three, four, five, and we have three tiles to pass. Take a photo. We picked up a pair of twos. This is why you don't want to pass a pair. Two, three, four, five, consecutive run. Two, three, four, five, no gaps, second hand down. Yeah, we'd have to throw away a pair of flowers. If we get a three dot, we might be able to do two, three dot, four bam, and use the flowers and then maybe use these as joker bait or these as joker bait, either way. And we do have tiles we can pass. We picked up a four crack and a four dot. So let's see, flower, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. We are on, we just did first left. We're now going into the optional Charleston. I would not pass flowers. We would have to decide if we want to risk passing like numbers. Since we have no gaps and we have multiples, we could pung, pung, and even kong there. All we need is to build up the three. I think I would go ahead and risk passing like numbers in this case and continue the Charleston. Here we have an interesting situation. We could switch and leverage these flowers. Flower, four, five, dragon. I think I would actually 
maybe use the dragon with the joker to help get that pung. We could pung here, and then we just need to build up here. Let's do it. We'll pass these three. Actually, let's go ahead and pass the two so we're not stuck with a pair, just in case we get all the tiles we want. Really? Are you kidding? We've got a one, two, two, three, six. Let's pass those three. Stick with four, five, dragon. We got a dragon. And we have tiles we can pass. Oh, you know what? I forgot to take a photo. I think we got a dragon. Something like that. We got to recreate these. So we're going to keep the dragon and we'll pass these three. We got the two, a south, and a nine. So we have four discards and we have no gaps for consecutive run number five. Pung, Kong, Kong, Pung. We can use this in here. All we need is a four or a five, and this hand will be set. So I think that was a really successful Charleston. And I did see a lot of evens come through. Let's see if we have a better result with evens. Four discards. Remember, four discards. This is what we started with, and here is the Charleston exactly as it was. Let's see if we have a better result with evens. There are the evens. So let's pass one of each suit. We got a north. Let's pass one of each suit. That leaves all one suit. Let's swap this out so we have a good pass next time, just in case we get all evens, which we did. We may or may not be able to use the red dragon. We have three tiles to pass. We've got a four and a four. We have one discard and all evens except that red. We could play two, four, six, eight with the red dragon, which does not use flowers. I would give up the red. Two, four, six, eight. If we can get a six ban, I think I would keep the fours. Focus on the cracks. Let's let the four dot go. We've got a green dragon, a south and a nine. In this case, I don't think it's going to be helpful. We've got the six and we have tiles we can pass. We've got west six green. It's an even, but it's a different suit. If we could get a six bam, it would have been better. Let's pass those. Okay, we have two, four, three. For two, four, six, eight, we have no gaps for the very first two, four, six, eight hand. We have three discards with joker bait. I think either hand would be viable. I think the Consecutive run hand had better potential because there were more multiples. Here we have two 
and joker bait. So if played right, we might be able to get jokers. If we held on to these till middle game, discard one, someone makes an exposure with a joker and we use the other to get a joker, maybe. If you want to know more, there are some videos that I've made demonstrating how that works. Joker bait is a term coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. Look for a link in the video description below to see how that works. So I would play that very first 2, 4, 6, 8 hand, discard those, hold this till middle game, and see if we can get some more jokers. Because we need some help here. We would be able to pung the 6, but we're kind of weak here with the 8, and of course we need a pair for the 4. We could pung the flowers. So there's a little action that can be taken. The other, though, I think was stronger. This is doable, though, too. One of the fun things about American Mahjong is that the game is very flexible. You can make just about anything work with the right decisions at the right time. And I think either of those hands would have been viable. The consecutive run hand, I think, was stronger because it had more multiples for the hand itself. The second iteration, working with evens, still was strong because there were no gaps with two multiples and joker bait. Either would have been fine. Right decisions at the right time. If you have a set of tiles at home, try this exercise and let me know if you find that you don't second guess yourself anymore after practicing. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston chain reaction for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.